Ozzy always uses like unique 808 patterns like this one. So arguably, I would say this is the most important thing. What is going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the production techniques and production secrets of Ozzy and how to make beats like this. Hey, feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And this. Little life will life for me. As always, I'm going to give a free drum kit to one commenter below. And let's get into the video. Ozzy beats tend to be a little quicker than the, like, default speed. So I'm going to up this to, like, 162. And he tends to use a lot of, like, analog sound in melodies. So let's load up Analog Lab 5. I'm going to use this Arctic key and just get some minor chords down. And then in terms of effects, what we want to do is just EQ this, make it more ambient. Throw a little bit of shaper box on this too. The first thing you want to start with really is the chord progression using mainly like minor chords like this. What is that? Like it's, it's pretty simple so far. Now we're just going to layer this. You gotta trust the process with process and these will all sound so much better. So let's process these next two sounds, add an echo boy. Known the root notes for the bass, but with a little bit of flow. Bada boom. So we've got the hard bass down. Now time for a few more accents. So that little texture in. Now let's add some vocals. Now I want like a really good lead for this. But then we'll change the sound. Okay, I want to layer this lead with one last sound. Uh -oh. So let's arrange it. So now we're in a new session. Let's load it up to 156 BPM. And what I'm actually going to do is speed it up a little bit. So the first thing you want to do is put a soft clipper on the master. So the secret with the Ozzy style drums is to use like a pretty basic, maybe a little bit unique drum sounds and just create like a unique rhythm with them. So some good examples of that is this. And this. I'm probably beefing with Peter. I got a pair to leave him. It's probably cheaper to keep him. So let's just start off with a two step and we'll dip the velocities. 
Today's video is sponsored by DistroKid. DistroKid is an online music distribution service, which allows you to get your music onto like Apple Music, Spotify, and other streaming sites like that. The best part is you get 100% of your earnings. A cool feature of DistroKid is you can make a mini video through the site. This allows you when sharing your music to have a little more like animated interest to the clip. Super easy to do and loads to choose from. So it's an easy way to grow your following, let them know when you have new music out, etc. I will have my sign up link in the description, which gets you 7% off your first year's membership. Thanks again to DistroKid for sponsoring and let's get back into the video. Then he never usually uses claps. It's usually like some weird snare rim sound like this. Let's add some hi-hat rolls. Don't go too crazy. Just something subtle. Something catchy. Let's get the 808 in next. Gonna go for the Aloe 808. Hello. So something a little bit different on the second half like that. Uses some like perks or rims to get some bounce. If you're using the cowbell, you gotta use it without shame. You gotta turn that bitch up. So arguably, I would say this is the most important thing. Using a lot of layers, but sparingly, like most of these are playing like one note. Those are some of Ozzy's production secrets for artists like Travis Scott and Drake. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you've enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video.